Hi, I'm Joshua Roman, Artistic Director of Town Music here at Town Hall Seattle, and I'm currently occupying the Great Hall for part of my fermata, which is a kind of residency over the course of the next 10 weeks. So today I want to talk a little bit about the composition process, creativity, and curation. I am a performer, cellist, and I started composing around 2012. It was a very new thing for me at the time, and I was not used to kind of walking into a space or being in a space where I didn't know what I wanted to do. You know, when you're a performer, you have the notes already. So the second you start rehearsing or practicing, it's there for you to work on. When you're a composer, you are in a room with a blank sheet of paper and you have to turn that into a piece of music. When I first started, I got lots of advice. And one of the most helpful things that I learned was from a lecture on creativity by John Cleese from Monty Python, where he was talking about the need to sit with boredom, to take time, to let things come up as they would, and not to judge them immediately, but to let them be what they were. This experience for me is most vivid when I relate it to a piece that I wrote last year for the Pro Music at Chamber Orchestra in Columbus. There was a day when I was trying to figure out this certain section and I knew what I wanted it to do. And I was trying to find the chords, the harmonies, and the way that they would shift. I had this very clear picture in my mind of the feeling that I wanted to get across. And I realized that what was coming out as it was building was not what I wanted for this piece. And at that moment, I had a choice. I could set it to the side, forget about it, don't even write it down, or I could follow this creative impulse that I was actually really excited about and see where it led. I'm really glad that I did because the piece that came out of it is something that I actually liked. I don't love everything that I write, but it's not at all what I'd set out to do. And if I had not given myself the space for creativity and the patience to follow what was actually coming up in the moment that I was there, I would not have this piece that I'm going to share with you today. Thank you. 